And how, how do you feel with the, each month having a certain effect? Do you, do you actually feel the difference yourself? Do you, do you, did you make that experiment? Like, oh, if I chant this, this happens, or if I... It, no, absolutely. I, I have... Well, my relationship with mantras has been a fairly natural relationship in the sense that because they were such a part of my life at such an early age, um, it was more of a spontaneous natural process than an intellectual process and so what I have found is just at different times I always had my meditation practice of the Bija Mantra which my brain has been just so entrained that as soon as you know I go into that sound it just settles down but at different times in my life when I have needed different mantras they've kind of just surfaced so you know, it, it wasn't a an experimentation on on purpose to say, but mm. simply that any time I needed assistance by a certain mantra for one reason or another, it would simply come into my existence, and I would do it for whatever amount of time. And when I felt that you know that had now concluded, I let it go, and it, it's been mainly like that. I have a baseline kind of mantra practice and then I just I allow the mantras to come and share whatever they need to share um, at whatever time is necessary but there's it's definitely you know I describe it to eating ice cream um, not that I ever recommend my patients eat it but you know if you're eating ice cream uh, you can have the different flavors but you always know that what you're eating is ice cream but at different times you may have a pull towards chocolate versus you know strawberry and I think mantras are very similar in that each one has a flavor, and when that flavor um, has something to offer you, it'll come into your life. Yeah.